Hello and welcome to AdsDrives. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a difference between 1080p and 4K, or at least I'll do my best to show that to you. So, how did I do that? Well, I used Panasonic G7, the very same camera that I'm filming with now. I used two of them on this inexpensive bracket from eBay. It cost me something like five or ten dollars. And what I did there is I set the cameras on exactly the same settings, except one was, as you see on the left there, or you will see shortly, was shooting at 1080p. Another one was shooting at 4K. Both were shooting at 24 frames per second, fully manual, shot exactly at the same moment in time. And in a post, I made sure to synchronize them side by side so you would see exactly the same motion and you could compare 1080p versus 4K. Now, one thing to note is when I'm shooting 4K with this particular camera, the angle of view narrows down a little bit. So you will see kind of, as you see on the tree here, as you will see shortly on the full screen, uh, the tree on your right hand side will be a bit closer um, where on the left hand side would be a bit kind of wider view. And that's just the tricks of the Panasonic Sense and that's how it works unfortunately. But for all intents and purposes it looks exactly the same and you can compare and yeah I hope that will help you. So let's get started. Remember left 1080p, right 4K. So you see a little bit of motion in the video so you can see properly any detail any change in detail how that is captured and guys once again this is the very very affordable inexpensive 4k camcorder if you compare something like this to products that were manufactured even a year ago it's probably a third of the price it's really affordable it's it produces really stunning results as you see on the top 4k below 1080p and in my opinion it's worth to even try shooting with 4k even if you don't see any any difference in the video here on your own monitor because sooner or later you will get a 4k tv and it will make all the difference i already see the difference and i'm using guys i'm using 1080p display i'm not 4k um, display user so I can't use it to full potential, but I can already see the difference. And even when I squeeze the 4K footage to 1080p, it still looks much, much better. And same here above is 4K, below is 1080p. Now, next I'm gonna show you actual stills, zoomed out as much as I can without using kind of a digital zoom, at least on the 4K side. I'm gonna compare side by side, so 1080p, And 4k you can rewind pause the video do whatever you want to do with that you will see that there is quite a bit of a difference now this video was shot quite a while back sorry guys didn't share that with you I simply didn't know if there would be a, a demand really for it I did it for myself just to compare because when I got the Panasonic G7 that was my first and it's still is my first and the most favorite um, camera to capture video really and I wanted to see what's the potential of the 4k and what's the difference um, say even using 1080p display and that's exactly what I'm doing here and as you see the difference is quite quite significant and very noticeable really when you look into it now it doesn't mean guys that if you have 1080p monitor or if you don't want to upgrade or anything like that um, that you have to upgrade to 4k no you don't 1080p is fine if you look at the at the video on the left once again it's fine the video is crisp and clear the details are there there's no problem at all the reason why i'm comparing this is some people think that 4k is a gimmick and you don't need it and it's not a requirement and just keep using the good old 1080p. Yeah, 1080p is fine, but if you want to get the most of your videos, if you want your videos to be future-proof, and if you're buying a new camera, I think you should consider 4K, and especially, as I said, when 4K camcorders can be purchased for, purchased for as little as probably around $500 at the moment. Um, GoPro, for instance, Black, which is 4K, 
is around $500, probably going to be even less when the Black Friday comes and Christmas sales and January sales. So guys, if you're thinking about 4K camera or if you're thinking about any camera, I think you should consider investing into 4K. Now, not everything is pretty about 4K at the same time. Just as we increase the requirements going from standard definition video to 720 or 1080p full HD, same goes going from full HD to 4K. 4K actually produces four times the amount of pixels if you compare pixel by pixel when you compare to 1080p. What that means is increased requirement for storage. So if you're thinking about shooting in 4K and if you're already running low on storage, maybe it's worth considering that as well, that you might need to upgrade storage. Now, before you panic too much here, I just have to backpedal to the idea where you can still shoot in 4K, what I'm doing here, but you can actually squeeze the video to 1080p and you get extra detail. Trust me, you do get extra detail. Now, it's hard to explain how it works without actually showing you, but basically when you downsample 4K video, you have so much more detail in it. And when you squeeze it down, you retain quite a bit of it where when you shoot 1080p due to compression artifacts, due to sensor limitations and things like that, you actually lose already a little bit of detail. So you don't get a picture where every pixel is crystal clear. You can zoom in on every single leaf or something like that to 100% and look on your monitor carefully and you will see all the detail. No, it's not going to be like that because there's always a compression, especially for consumer grade cameras. So that's where 4K helps because you're getting much more picture and even though there is compression there when you press it down to 1080p you still retain more details as if you compare to 1080p and that's why i did this comparison because i wanted to see is there a difference and i can guarantee you there is now guys if you can't see difference in this video please let me in the comment section down below i don't want to confuse any of you here with this comparison in my opinion it's obvious and it's definitely there, but if you think it's not, let me know what you think about this video and let me know if that helped you at all and did you get a 4K camera? What do you think about it? And what do you think about footage? And most importantly, I suppose, it'd be interesting for me to find out, will you go for the 4K TV or a monitor just because you're purchasing 4K camera? So let me know all these things below if you have a second there to write back to me. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.